Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be covering the Trend Tracer and the Trend Catcher in Lux Algo Premium. These are two of the most iconic features and are very, very popular with users. So I'm going to quickly show you how to use them and how you can use them in your trading. So at the moment I have the Trend Catcher loaded up. Now the Trend Catcher has Catcher in its name. So the, it's designed to be able to catch trends earlier and it has some unique behaviours. So it does not always behave like a classical trend following uh, methodology that just follows the price so we can see here look the price starts to go down it turns red very classical price is going down and then it turns red and then price starts to go up and then it turns green but the interesting thing about the catcher is we get to up here and we can see it turns red at the peak of the price action you can see I can zoom in on this price it turns red here it predicts the reversal so it starts to behave predictively sometimes so it's a very hybrid approach in your trading so you can also see down here it tries to predict a reversal it turns green here then it goes back to red but the fact it turns green near the bottom suggests hey maybe the trend is starting to change and then it turns green here and the price goes up so it's very nice to use as a hybrid approach and it's very minimal on your chart and that's why it's particularly popular among luxalgo users and now i've loaded up the trend tracer and the trend tracer is a far more classical trend following approach you can see here the dashed line or the crosses line is the trend tracer and it's not predictive in nature it's very classical so you can see here we can use it in confluence when the trend catcher and tracer turn green maybe we buy when they both both turn red hey maybe we sell and we can use them in confluence with each other so it can also behave like a support and resistance we see the price comes down it bounces off of it bounces off of it finds support and then finds resistance goes down finds resistance and continues to go down so it can be used as a nice support resistance method as well and they're nice in confluence you can use them in crossovers so when the two cross over hey maybe you want to take a sell and they can be used nicely hand in hand because they complement each other quite nicely so hopefully this video helped you understand the trend tracer and catcher a little better they're very very simple tools and pretty effective when you integrate them into your trading so thank you for watching and leave a like and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me cover next